Fort Knox, the top secret U.S. depository that holds more than 147 million troy ounces of gold, or so they say. Along with this are some of the most important items in our history as Americans. You have the Constitution of the United States, Declaration of Independence, Articles of Confederation are all allegedly kept there. Lincoln's second inaugural address, drafts of Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, the Gutenberg Bible, an exemplified copy of the Magna Carta are all stored in Fort Knox. It also stores some very important gold coins. The 1933 Double Eagle, 1974 Aluminum D Penny, and 12 gold Sacagawea gold coins that flew on the Space Shuttle Columbia. Needless to say, Fort Knox holds our wealth, both the ones we can quantify, like the gold ones, and the ones like the Declaration of Independence. The U.S. decided to construct this depository in Kentucky, south of Louisville, and north of Elizabethtown. Why? For security purposes. It's isolated, away from the pass that invite traffic. And along with 30,000 soldiers surrounding minefield, predatory drones doing routine surveillance, and 20-ton vault doors, which no single person has a combination for, Fort Knox has never been robbed. In fact, no one has even attempted it, or so they say. Now, there are many theories surrounding Fort Knox, and we will discuss that in the next video. But for now, I just want to call attention to the fact that Fort Knox was constructed to store gold. All that planning, all that security, all the efforts were done to protect gold. Not diamonds, not sapphire, gold. More importantly, President Nixon officially took the country off the gold standard in 1971. So why is there gold in Fort Knox? As a former director of the U.S. Mint, chief of staff for the U.S. Treasury Department, and chairman of the Industry Council for Tangible Assets and the president of the U.S. Money Reserve, Philip Dial, is one of the most qualified persons to provide such insight. He said there's two reasons that we still have gold. Support for the world economy and the simple economics of gold. Gold is rare. Gold is valuable. That's why we have it. Gold is now being discovered to be one of the most useful metals in the world. And that makes it the perfect standard of wealth. And the U.S. government knows that. It also adds that the politics of gold are complicated, highly emotional, and very partisan. There's no compelling reason to empty the vaults of Fort Knox, and selling the gold would ignite a political firestone. Noble gold is not into politics, but we love gold. And if the government deemed that gold is so important that they spent all this money to protect it, then it might be worth looking into. For our government and the government of other countries want it, you should too. Now, there are theories that Fort Knox contains a lot of other things in addition to gold, but we don't know. It could be nothing at all. We're not sure. Common debunked conspiracy theories include the beliefs that within the walls of Fort Knox includes Jimmy Hoffa's body, biological weapons like anthrax, and the remains of the Roswell aliens. The most popular conspiracy theory, however, is the belief that all the gold inside Fort Knox has been removed or sold off. This theory seems to have taken root in the logic that the government has no reason to store gold anyways, since our currency is no longer based on the gold standard. Dating back to the mid-1970s, the idea that, that Fort Knox was empty was first spread by a lawyer named Peter David Beter, who spent a, quite a lot of time working as a counsel for the Export-Import Bank of the United States. The theory that Fort Knox had been emptying out struck a chord with many Americans, leading to the U.S. Mint to allow a one-time visit of the depository. On September 23, 1974, Senator Walter Huddleston, along with 12 other congressmen and 100 members of the press, were granted access to Fort Knox. If you're interested in investing in precious metals and you want to talk to a no-hassle representative that has experience in physical metal, give us a call. Phone number is 877-646-5347. Our phone lines are always open and we're happy to answer any of your questions.